Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is still your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. We are starting off with the gold daily chart as we normally do. As we talked about yesterday, will this 20 moving average hold up as support? We did get a nice bounce off of there. Uh, as we talked about here, same thing here. So this 20 moving average certainly is looking like a good buying opportunity if it happens. Uh, the question is, will we be able to move higher from here? Now what we said yesterday uh, on the hourly time frame that if we got above this uh, volume resistance that we would head up to here. Well, look at today's action. We went up, hung out for a little while, and then we ran right up to the 270 price range that we talked about yesterday. That is what market profile, volume profile is all about. It's looking at where are the light volume areas, the vacuum right here, compared to the congestion areas. So with that being said, now we need to get above uh, 1880 to make a move up and we do have some volume support down here at the 1838 price level so with strong gold what are we seeing in the market uh, first up is the euro dollar and here uh, our long time support that we've been watching was broken uh, I think the next thing we have to watch let's pull us over here and we got to watch this. Let's see what happens when we draw in our line right here. Whoops. Well, here's, here's what I was trying to get at. If I draw that there and now draw it back, see if that matches up. We can kind of see it does match up a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It keeps popping back. It does match up here a little bit uh, with this congestion area in here. So I'll watch it. That is 1.3839. Uh, certainly we have sort of a falling three pattern here. So we'll have to watch it. Really we'll see whether or not this, the buyers that defended the 200 moving average here will do it. Now breaking the 200 moving average certainly is a psychological barrier that uh, many traders will be watching. Also, let's take a moment and zoom out and see where we are in a monthly. And we can see that we have this double top pattern going on here. So it looks like if we do break this three uh, three eight two nine price level, notice that that's a wick from back in. So this is September, July. Um, then we can start to get into this price action here. But as we move over to our hourly time frame to go over our story of the day we can see that we of course are below our long-term moving average we are in a buy zone of course with the dollar being in control as we can see here we are going to continue to move lower so if we can as these are converging here if the euro can take control that should be interesting because we're oversold on a daily we're oversold on an hourly so if the euro can take control we may have a good buy setting up there um, so buy zone, long term moving average, we're below that. The dollar was in control right now. The dollar is averaging higher as the euro is averaging lower. Thus, uh, that's why we're seeing this price action, especially as we converge. We got the price action down. And we can see that we are out of the oversold range, kind of hanging out in neutral. What about the pound dollar? 
Here, our support of 1.59 that we've been watching has been holding up here for the week. It's going to be really nice to see what happens, but you can see we are clearly below the 200 moving average here. So uh, even though the support is holding, we're below the 200 moving average. Again, psychological barrier. Still watching our longer range, still seeing the buyers defend 1.59. Be interested to see what happens. Where are we? Well, we are below our long-term moving average. We are in a buy zone, just like the euro dollar. Who's in control? The dollar is in control, although we're starting to see some convergence. We're starting to see uh, uh, the dollar tank, tank down a little bit against the pound. You can see the pound started to spike up here, but the dollar is moving up, up here also. So, with that being said, if the pound can take control, just like the uh, euro pound, uh, that will allow us to take advantage of the daily support and being in a buy zone on the hourly. And we're still in neutral here also on our indicator. Finally, we'll go to the dollar franc. And here, what do we say? We say we're probably going to make a run to the 200 after this big push up day, and that's exactly what we're seeing. We've got a rising three pattern here. Again, it's logical place to go is the uh, 200 moving average. If we drag over here, you can see this is probably going to be the area that we're going to be watching uh, 0 0.875, 0 0.895 about our next area of resistance. But we're well above our long term moving average, and of course, we're in a sell zone. Who's in control? The dollars are in control. But look at the convergence. So we might see a little pullback here if the franc does take control. But overall, the dollar's averaging up, the franc's averaging down, sideways at best, and we're in neutral. So as long as the dollar can stay in control, we'll continue to make this push higher to the 200 moving average. As we move to our watch list, starting off with our low volatility watch list, this is our one hour time frame using Bollinger Bands. We are going to be watching the dollar franc. We're going to continue to watch that. For our inside bar watch list, we're watching today's rain as compared to uh, Wednesday. We can see that we'll be watching the dollar yen and the Aussie dollar. So as we continue to focus on how we can reach our goals as a trader, yesterday in our education spotlight, we talked about trading plans. And today we're talking about success, and, and that simply means having the courage, the determination to become the person that you want to be. In our instance, it's talking about being the trader that we want to be. So you have to have the focus, the discipline, and the determination to take the time to become a successful trader. You can't just jump on the computer to trade. You can't just throw out uh, money at every strategy. You have to take the time to back test. You have to take the time to align your strategy with your risk tolerance. You have to take the time to document. That is how you get on the path of being a success. Otherwise, you're winging it. You're 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 not putting forth 100% effort, and you may be successful, but you won't be consistently successful. You know, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook. We have our great free five video course on high probability trading. We'll help you design your own, give you an insight into who we are as coaches, and that's where we can make the best impact in your life. As a trader, work with you one on one to develop that personalized trading plan, help you set those goals that can be measurable as we work towards making yourself a, a successful trader. Get paid to trade, cast rebates for your Forex trade. It doesn't change your conditions, it doesn't change the spread. It's rebates for your trades. And if you're looking for signals, we have those for you. A bunch of different signal providers. Get the automatic signals. Uh, they can be traded automatically, or you can get the signals on trading yourself. The key is find a provider that matches who you are as a trader. Because in the end, if you want to be successful, it's not about the indicator. It's not about the trading room. It's not about the setup. It's about having the determination to follow your plan consistently and disciplined, full control of your emotions, day after day after day. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.